Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Let me make sure that I share this with the Discord as well. Uh, hold up, y'all. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Thank you for being here. Shout out to you guys. Give me one sec, y'all. One sec, one sec. Um, all righty. Let everybody know. Hopefully, if the notifications didn't go out, hopefully this will alert everybody. Go on live. Let's talk, y'all. We got to talk because uh, I've been watching this and I am just dying for there to be some kind of a court update. So you said, Your Honor, my black socks were stolen. Somebody's calling me by the LAPD. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Shout out to you. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you guys for being here. Shout out to everybody. I see my members. Hey, Hannah, how are you? Jane, thank you for being here. Who else? Nikki, thank you for being here. Welcome. Hey, Nebby, how are you doing, love? Rose Gold, Sarah Lynn, Amy M. Welcome, everybody. Tina. Hey, Pippi Long Stockings. Welcome. The Grudis, the Grudis girl. Welcome. Shout out to you guys. Hey, Clearwater Chad, how are you? Lori in Georgia, VT Kitten. Welcome. Hey, Monica. How are you? Joby girl, welcome. I'm seeing all the members. Layla, how you doing, my love? Shout out to Layla. Hey, Tim, how are you? Diane, everybody. Shout out to everybody. Hey, Lamb, hats off to you. Mother of cats. Perfect timing. Thank you. That would is, I would I would agree. I would agree. Hey, everybody. Hey, Annabelle, welcome. I wonder if the court hearing is available via Zoom. I don't know. That's a great question. Wait, it's the first day of spring? Really? Let me see how like slow I am. First day of spring. Oh, yes, it is. Yo. Oh, I love spring. Because I love summer. Hey, Lori's play. How you doing, my love? Shout out to you. Oh, girl, you got it. Get better. Okay. I'm so sorry you're sick. Susan P. Uh, Suzanne P. Rosemary J. Rosemary J. Rosemary J. Thank you. Welcome. Just because. How you doing, my love? Welcome, welcome. I don't see any of my mods here. Well, I, I mean, I don't know if the notifications went out. Uh, you know, they'll get here when they get here. Shout out to my mods. King's Kid, SPTV Warrior, <laughs> Keyboard Warrior. Welcome. Hey, Treasure Finder, Kitty Cool, Grandma Sherry. All right. I'm looking at all the members, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Lord have mercy. Like, how's everybody doing? I know you guys, uh, Hopefully, Miss Miss Lori feels a little bit better. I hate, you know, I know how that feels to be sick. The hearing was at 8.30 California time. Yes, definitely. Uh, you said it's 50 degrees in Florida? Wow, that's nice. Chico's in the house, yo. My mod is here. Shout out to Chico, my mod and my supporter. Thank you. I was like, I don't see any mods, but, you know, it's, it's a slow, it's the first day of spring, you know? So y'all got to take your time. You got to do what you got to do. And work always comes first. And of course, family always comes first. All right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to go right to it. I heard I was watching a little bit of Natalie's stream. Shout out to Life After a Cult. Natalie, you guys got to go check out her channel. Um, you know, oh, it was he was he was nervous, but it was kind of like one of those nervousness where it's like, you know, he doesn't know how to tie a tie. I thought that was so interesting. Uh, Cause I don't know how to tie a tie, but you know, that kind of nervousness, I think definitely hold up. And then also like, I had to like refix my makeup a little bit. Um, my eyeliner specifically, I just got done watching the quiet on the set and oh my God, yo, um, that had me in tears a little bit i'm not gonna lie like especially that second episode i i'll have to do a review on that but it had me in tears i was pretty upset hold up i'm gonna try to pull this channel real quick william's channel shout out to william okay so my mind is still kind of like spinning on that and i said let me try to give a little review about what's going on here with william streets um scientology audit streets because we have to talk about this. But yeah, you said I didn't learn until my 20s. So I get it. You didn't learn it. I mean, you know, some people don't know how I don't know how to tie a tie. I mean, 
no need for me to learn. But um, I remember at one point I used to wear ties on some of my shirts because, you know, back then uh, there was a, a time frame where wearing ties on your shirt was kind of like a cute thing. So I used to wear a tie. I don't know. And I learned at one point. So I did know how, but then I, I forgot. So, yeah, that would work. Okay. So yesterday, uh, Scientology Streets LA William was live streaming and he was served. Uh, improperly served, I might add, but he was served with this restraining order. Okay. So he was served and then, hey, Vic, welcome. Uh, he was served and then, um, I don't know, like the hearing is like less than 24 hours. So, ah, ooh, we got to talk about it. Let's talk about it. I think I need, I need a reaction. Okay. Well, I actually can't watch this. I said, yeah. Oh, you can do it again and fake it. Yeah, he was served yesterday and the court hearing was today at 8.30 in the morning. So I did message William and I was like, William, hopefully you uh, give us an update because I think a lot of us are kind of waiting to hear what's going to happen. Um, well, this was aired. Hold up. This was aired. Oh, yeah, you're right. Two days ago. Thank you. He was he wasn't served yesterday. He was served on Saturday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for those that corrected me. So he was served on the weekend and then he had to show up. Was it yesterday? No. 18th, 19th. Hold up. Let me look at my screenshots. He was served Sunday. Okay. And then DOA has a hearing too. My apologies. See, my days are kind of mixed up. It's the first day of spring. Um, court hearing, and I got the screenshot here because I took a couple of them. The 19th, it would be today at about 8.30. So, and, and then why would they serve them in a Ziploc bag? Did y'all see that ish too? They both have that eight, that court hearing at the same time. It's cold here. <laughs> it's well, it's spring. It's spring officially. Hey, even a lot of cop watching lately, huh? Over on over in Wilshire. Yes, thank you, Lara. That's where you're gonna see most of it over there is the Melrose. <laughs> and all the side streets and the Airbnbs all around there. A lot of Airbnbs with drama. Mm. Oh, thank you. A little late though. Look, yeah, she's serving me. Look at this. She's serving me. She served, and it's a Ziploc bag. And shout out to Lara FM in the chat. Yes, the the court hearings today. But it, why is it in a bag? Is that weird? Then she goes, "Here you go. You've been served," and then she just kind of leaves. Weird. Okay, yes, Laurie, give us an update if you get it. Please, please, please. He was served on Sunday, yes. Uh, first day of spring tomorrow for us. Hats off to you, says. Okay, let me see. DOA is in court this morning about the possible machine order. Do we know how long this ish is going to take? Because it's been a couple hours. I mean, what time is it in Cali right now? I know, I heard about the attorney, y'all. Hold up, let me see. What time is it in? It's 9.04, so literally about 30 minutes ago. You said the zippy, the Ziploc bag was so that it wouldn't mess up because it was raining a day or two before that. So she made sure she put it in that little sandwich bag and said, here you go. Well, I guess that's, I don't know, um, a good thing. Oh, wait. <laughs> now, guys, look at this. A notice hearing on 319. What's the date today, guys? Today's the 16th. What's the problem with this? You have to be served within 16. what? Five business days of the hearing. This is no good. <laughs> On uh, Mar um, 19th. You Five business days um, and a weekend is not a business day. Wow. You said William will get out because it was given less than five days. Right. But a business like I don't think Saturday is considered a business day. Now, y'all correct me in the chat, but I'm pretty sure Sunday or Saturday are not business days right yeah so we can't uh so we can't say he couldn't read it and didn't know better says vic he's like well that's very interesting serve it in a in a sandwich bag you know what i'm saying exactly why wasn't the papers in an envelope 
strange and unprofessional. Well, I mean, I've seen, I've been served before. Um, they're not always in an envelope, but it doesn't matter. Like five business days on the weekend. Yeah. So they're not good. Thank you. They're not considered business days. I don't know. I don't know. Hold up. Let me see. I'm trying to include everybody in this conversation. Yeah. Why not put it in an envelope? I don't know. You said Monday through Friday are business days. <laughs> well, listen, did y'all want it? Like it could have been an envelope in a Ziploc bag to prevent it from getting wet, potentially. You know who will not be showing up there? Me. I won't be showing up there. No, my lawyer's going to appear for me and she's going to have this thrown out. It's a restraining order. Oh, no, no. An attempt to get a restraining order. Look at an attempt. that. Again, let's see here. So she tried to get a temporary restraining order and it was denied. Let's go over this. Look at this. Let's look at this. All right. So the court hearings on the 19th. Like I said, I will not be there because they didn't serve it properly. My lawyer will be there. Now it says here, like you see, tried to get the temporary restraining order. All was denied. All right. So she wasn't granted. She wasn't partially granted. She was denied. Okay. Let's go on to the next page. Ooh, we reasons for denial, no attachment with whatever. So they didn't have an attachment. Now it says here service documents for the person at least five days before the hearing, at least five days before the hearing. Now guys do the math with me here, right? Again, the court hearing is on the 19th. Today is the 16th. Today's three days, but it doesn't even count as three because it has to be business days. Ah, uh, there you go. Businesses. Hannah says, so really he needed to be received it like a week before. It would have been like what? Last Thursday, Wednesday? Barbie says, no, uh, no envelopes. Please save the trees. Tracy says, 1,000 Saturday and Sunday are not business days. Does not matter if the mail runs. Does not matter if Amazon comes. They're not business days. Even if it's certified mail, it's still not business days, right? I mean, I don't think they, I don't know. You said DOA is also going to court today. That's right, Jody. He did. And this is what I was talking about. Um, he was trying to learn how to tie a tie earlier on Natalie's stream. He's like, I don't remember how to do it. Was he served at the restaurant when he got served? He was right outside of there. He was right outside of there. So this is technically one day before the hearing. And she's going to serve me now. Wow. You missed it, huh? <laughs> Clerk certificate. People are like, why is she so happy to be served? <laughs> well, I'm not going to put that. That has my personal address. You know who served you? Doesn't matter. Ooh. Should have gotten Description of harassment. Who else is there? Employees and patron employees, LAPD, whatever the fuck that means. I, I guess they're trying to say the LAPD is the LAPD going to testify on their behalf of her. So they they put in this little thing that the LAPD was patrons of LAPD. That's so weird that they would add the LAPD. I mean, is the LAPD filing this or is it Francois Coster La Pobelli, uh restaurant? I mean, which one is it? Harassment. Ooh, that would be something. But anyway, they're denied. Because they will not do that. They wrote that. The LAPD will not. I never saw her. She asked I not harass or contact her. Tim's like, I've never seen anyone so happy to be served. I know, right? Request the temporary restraining order failed. This is her lawyer, Leah Safrian. For Francois. And that's uh, the Maxwell lady's attorney, you know, the one that was helping in the trafficking of children. Yeah. All right, let's read this. I just want to make sure. Yeah, you can't. Okay. So it's Francois Costner and a family have owned and operated a restaurant in Hollywood since 1969 without incident, except for the rapes. Except for the rapes, you know, no incidents except for the fucking rapes, Francois. And further, they have been good neighbors and supported the community in charitable and philanthropic ways over these many years. And the rapes, and the rapes, Ms. Costa is being stalked in cer and the circumstances stalked. What does stalk mean? Stalk means, are we coming to our house? Are we following her around town? No, we come to the restaurant, the venue mm. where the rapes occurred 
Sorry to everybody's. Mr. Costner is being stalked and the circumstances set forth below are such that she now fears for her personal safety. Grow up, grow up. The, roast, the restaurant is located on Franklin, opposite of the Church of Scientology, right? Since February 2nd, Mr. Good and approximately 30 to 40 other followers, including Scott, uh, Scott Hostetter, have demonstrated outside of Franklin Square shops and restaurants. Right, it's called the Ooh. first event, right? You, you're going to put that as like something that's wrong? Initially, the businesses on Franklin were targeted because, no, 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 not the businesses were targeting this. A business was targeted because of an alleged association with Scientology. No, because you're alleged, no, a factual association with a rape. You know, Francoise went to the court hearings hand in hand with Danny Master. I mean, she was there and she was making fun of these uh, victims. Her restaurant played a huge role in a in an aring of a victim. OK, that's that's not at all like a made up, you know, thing. It's a real thing. Right. So my thing is, is that. If these if the squirrel squad is giving demonstrations, whether it's this restaurant or outside of the Scientology building or wherever the hell it may be. Ev yes, she went every day to every day. It's a demonstration. That's what they're doing. Uh, she harassed the victims absolutely. So, girl, you're going to get like, what did you think was going to happen? That man is locked up. Nobody's there to defend you. Now, some of people went into my comments and said, well, rabbit, like, look, y'all can support who you want to support. OK. But know that people are going to call some of this stuff out. OK, they, they just are. Uh, they're doing it outside of the business. Is it looking good for your business? No, it's not. Um, yeah, I mean, that's just my thought. I don't know. And then, oh, yes. Oh, yes, Alizma. We can't forget that that support letter after the conviction. You know how they, you know how Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis and a bunch of other people wrote support letters for this, for Denny Masterson and uh, all that shit. Yeah, I mean, we can't forget her letter as well. Yeah, so, so she was with the with the shits. Truly. And if uh, my daughter or my child uh, would slip something into a drink at a establishment, not only am I going to be protesting, I want to make sure that the motherfucker building, that building right there, gets burned to the ground. I I'm sorry, y'all, because I would be damned if I find out that that building right there had something to do with my child being victimized. OK, you better believe it. Better believe it. Why is it more people talking about this? I don't know. I don't know. None of the shopkeepers or restaurants are associated with search of the Church of Scientology, save for the proximity ge geography, except for the rape restaurant. This place, La Poubelle, mm -mm. talking about Scientology. The demonstrations and assault have not been peaceable. Right. You guys have been committing the assaults. The agitators have swatted the restaurant, calling the reports of shots fired. You have called it. Wow. The police have not been able to bring order to the situation until you shut down. The restaurant has hired private security who sucks that coon over there. Ooh. And it's still a dangerous situation because that coon makes it worse. Lord have mercy. The agitators are the restaurant every night and we're not going anywhere. There have been a the security is looking over there at William. Y'all see him? He's like all the way over there. He's like, is he talking to me? Oh my God. This is, this is, y'all don't have to support, okay? Uh, uh, the Squirrel Squad, that is fine if y'all have some opinions about it. But at the end of the day, if that was your child, okay, that had been art or something happened where their drink, somebody slipped something in their drink in this establishment, you better believe you would be pissed off too. You wouldn't want this Hollywood cover up, this fucking restaurant standing there. You just wouldn't. Arrest for conspiracy to break, spray. Restaurant patrons, no, there hasn't been a conspiracy to do it. You uh, you assaulted us and they defended themselves. He's smoking within 10 feet of the restaurant. Another violation. Patrons have been forced into the street. Patrons mm. have been knocked to the ground after they assaulted them. Yep. Miss Foster has targeted because during the trial. And note, everybody that has been protesting, and I have to remind everybody, because like I said, people were like, I had a live, what was it, two lives ago, when we were talking about back in the early 90s when people were protesting, 
somebody came in my comments and said, Rabbit, those were so peaceful. You notice this is what protesting looks like. You stand outside with a sign. Okay, that's your opinion. Uh, I respect your opinion, but this is how they're handling them. They There has been false arrests. They've been let go every time. Why aren't we talking about that? The misuse of power? Why aren't we talking about that? Why aren't there more people auditing the LAPD for this? It's not okay. Heidi, thank you for becoming a member. And Vic, right. I would be in prison for arson. I'm not joking. I would be burning everything down. Everything. I would. Uh -huh. The rape defendant, Danny Masterson, a Scientologist, Mr. Miss Foster wrote a letter to the court at sentence. He went to court with them every fucking day, yes. arm in arm. You kidding me? As a result, the agitators jamming cameras and faces and screaming, threatening things. Blah, 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 blah. Drama queen. <laughs> uh, Wim, thank you so much for gifting memberships. If you guys got memberships from Wim, Please drop a heart in the chat, you guys. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Thank you, Wim. And for everybody that is hitting the like button as well as buying memberships. Thank you so much. Drum, the following codes are being violated on a nightly basis. Drama Queen, your lawyer sucks. Wow. Mr. Good is well known to the police and regularly harasses police officers. No, I hold them accountable. And I'm going to hold you accountable. Oof. Oh, no. In the hour stream online, Mr. Good and Hostetter are both seen yelling and threatening the police and dressing officers by their name. Oh, no. Oh. Why is that in her protection order? What does that have to do with you? They got weapons and they misuse their force all the time. They're falsely arresting folks. What does that got to do? Why is that in this thing? I, I don't get it. Why is this in this protection order? Oh, no. You guys are going into that rape restaurant. Shame on you. While Ms. Foster understands the First Amendment protects most speech, however distasteful, dangerous speech, a confident... No, there has not been dangerous speech. There's been factual speech. Now, the mm. fact of the matter is, Supreme Court has already said that the KKK can walk down the street and say racist things because it's protected. We have the right to speak the truth about this place. It is protected. Shut your... That is a great question. Why can the KKK walk down the street and protest and say a bunch of things and do demonstrations, all right? And somehow we're out here talking about, you know, this restaurant, this establishment, pointing out some of the obvious things that have happened. Why is that, like, wrong of us? But the KKK is allowed to practice what they do. Right. They're grasping at straws. I'd like to know. Let me know. Why is the KKK okay to do that? Your ass off. Mr. Good and Hostetter are the organizers of this unlawful conduct. I'm going to anti-slap you, and you're going to be paying my, my lawyer's fees of 15000 Ooh, You don't know what the fuck you're doing. Your lawyer is an imbecile. They don't know what they're doing. You're playing real games right now with lawyers. You're going to see, you ever heard of the Streisand effect? All you're going to do is bring more attention to your restaurant. Oh, that's my God. That's all that's going to happen. Crazy. You're going to see this the second time. You're going to learn about an anti-slap lawsuit. All you're going to do is get yourself press attention. You too, cool. You too. That's the house, cool, right there. Stay in the house. That's where you belong. And you know it. And your family knows it. And the whole community, the whole community will know it. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is who you stand up for. This is who you stand up for. Coon, you, yeah. This is La Poubelle who's about to be put through it. La Poubelle's about to be put through it. We're going to shut your restaurant down. All you did is play yourself. Wow. That's, wow. And you know what? Like I said, they didn't even serve me in a proper time. This is all, these are the amateurs we're dealing with. The way that was written up is a bunch of feelings. It's like a bunch of feelings. You have to say that there has been a threat, a reasonable threat. Now you're saying stalking. Nobody thought, has anybody followed her to her house? No, 
We are here at one location. At one location. All a bunch of innuendo. In a public location, in an establishment. Keep that in mind. Brandon James says, what I don't get is that there's two types of protests. There is holding a sign and also voicing protests. Both are legal kinds of protests. Yes. I agree. Um, this is why I'm like, why? Uh, okay, if you want to go outside of the Church of Scientology or the Cult of Scientology and hold a sign, you go do that. That's okay to do. But some folks want to go out there and film the police. Some folks want to go out there in public property while people are going into this restaurant as well because it's all public, right? We're being filmed all the damn time, y'all. I'm driving at a stoplight or whatever. And I, I'm getting those camera tickets. Yeah. So, yeah, like it's all public. You don't like it? Don't go out. I, that That's it. As much as I don't like it, because I don't like it, right? But it is what it is. So I, I understand. It's protected. <clears throat> Both of them can, can do what they want to do. Get a sign. If you don't like the sign, then do what you want to do, but protest. And bullshit. All they're going to do is face embarrassment. And already you're going to start off with an anti-slap lawsuit. Yeah, then, over there to her car. I said I was going to shut. Yeah, so I was going to shut a restaurant down. You know what that is? It's a fact. It's not a threat. It's a fact. Mm. You are not entitled to run a shitbag restaurant and not be called out for it. You are not entitled to it. You've been getting away with it since 1969. That shit is closing in 2024. 2024 is so going to say the end of La Poubelle. You're going to have your little closing ceremony. And then you're going to have to find a new job off the books. She'll figure, man, she's going to find it out. Anyway. Mm. Huh? She go, of course. She, <laughs> she's so dumb to follow through on this. And I'm going I'm to give this to my lawyer. She's going to be like, oh, God, William. I, my lawyer just had to file a brief yesterday in the anti slap we worked on today. If you read that document, the both lawyers. I can't wait to release it because honestly, it's like a thing of beauty. It's, it really is. You know, if you're a nerd like me that's into like language and stuff, an argument, argument is so brilliant. To put it together in such a short period of time. We are not going to let activists and protesters have the legal use system used against us. No, I'm good. I don't need that. I don't need that. Yes. I never, I, I never need I mean, I'm telling, didn't I say y'all can break the man's nose, but you can't break the spirit? A388 says the Streisand effect, for those that don't know, is that in the order to try and get attention uh, away from something, it actually brings more attention to it. You'd have to kind of wonder, is this the kind of negative attention that La Poubelle wants, right? <clears throat> Just something to think about. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. I never need a megaphone. Or Scientology or the LAPD. Which one is it? This is very game tactic. I mean, listen, th this is, like I said, you have the Streisand effect. All this is going to do is bring more attention to this. That's all it's going to do. All it's going to do is make me more pissed off, too. That's all it's going to do. I, I already realized this place was dying. We all realized it, right? Mm. It's just like you can't, you, yeah, you know, you can't survive. You can't survive with this small of a crowd and you have that added expense of security and stuff. Like, you can't survive this. They're, they're doing desperate tactics. There was something I know they had to raise money in the past for it. Oh, okay. I know they had to do it during COVID. They had to raise money. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe they had to do more again. Yep, they did in 2016, and it kind of made me wonder. Didn't she start like? Yeah, she did. Had started like a GoFundMe or some shit like that, because you know she was going up there crying or twenty. Well, no, hold up. During COVID, and then there was another time I was looking a little bit into this. I'm gonna have to pull it again, but there was that time during COVID where they were having all this hard time and they had to close how many days a week they were open, and she was crying on media and all this other stuff. I mean, not now i'm kind of wondering right and we had talked a little bit about the shout out to laura fm who hit the leak last time we were talking about this right who helped her stay open during that time who donated to her ain't it weird ain't it funny funny and weird right i don't know all nighter she can file if she has new information add yeah jody who i mean they can have a hear i know that they're uh, all nighter they're gonna have a hearing about it i don't know how continuously like 
uh, you can file one, and if they don't accept it at the first time, you know, you can refile it if there's like Jody who said if there's more information to it. Uh, yeah, definitely. So keep that in mind. I went to TJ with him. We got together. I was eating a churro. <laughs> Well, I think the re that's a good point. Hold up. Um, Vic says, um, I don't know, but they must serve really good food. Well, do they? Like, what the fuck do they serve anyways? Um, it, is it like a burger joint? I don't know. But apparently it's been a restaurant that a lot of the Hollywoods would go there. I mean, Danny Masterson and a bunch of other people, uh, very supportive of them. But let me know if you all know what kind of food they serve there. I've never looked at their menu. But I'm kind of wondering, because you know there are people that have helped them. Oh yeah, whenever he sees anybody. I know they're trying to recruit. I know they're putting them up to standing outside. French food. This is about the time when restaurant will get the most attraction during this time. This place, yeah. No, I mean, they had they had a, they had at one time when I first got here, uh, just a bunch of people walked in, so you know it was a party. It was like back to back, but it was eight to 10 people. This place should be doing 20 people every hour, you know? Mm. In and out, right? Oh, there they go. It's just, they're doing parties and that's it. Renting a venue out for the night. Well, they're going to they learn about me. I'm about to get out of here. I put my minutes in. The last I was put in. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to jump over to Aaron's stream. He had a stream about this yesterday. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Some of you guys say, it. I mean, it, some of you guys told me to go check out their Yelp reviews. Hmm. I don't know. But if I understood, like, what is a La Poubelle means? What, like garbage can or something like that? I don't know if I would want to really eat somewhere that has that name. And I think the reasons why people go there is because of the Hollywoodness to it. You know, you have celebrities that have gone there. Let me look at their menu. Now I'm kind of curious. OK, now let me be very clear. Uh, I am not. I'm just looking at menus. That's all. They have mac and cheese, La Poubelle salad. Uh, I'm looking at their salad menu. Maybe I'll share this. Hold up. A lettuce, market lettuce. Uh, let's see. Uh, the mar What is it? Margarita flatbread, mac and cheese. What, what's so special about this food? It's French? Is it? I don't know. It's not very Hollywood. I mean, I just feel like this this is like a regular traditional burger joint. It's it, it means garbage can, right? That's like if I called a Mexican restaurant, not Mexican, La Basura. Girl, are y'all really going to be eating at a Mexican restaurant called La Basura? Now, unless you don't know what the hell that means, La Basura Restaurante, where I serve rice and beans, get out of here. You said I'd rather eat at a diner. Yeah, give me like a burger. Is it mac and cheese? <laughs> La Basura restaurant? Like who who eats it? What is so special about this place? Beyond Burger? They have like burgers. The New York Strip Steak, Philip Mion. What else? Uh, spaghetti a la, uh, a la something? I don't know. Shrimp? Scampi? See, can y'all see that? I definitely don't. Don't do a lot of French meals. Yeah, the tra <laughs> La Basura. Would y'all go? La Basura restaurant, if I were to call that? I mean, I'm just saying. This is stupid. It's a stupid name. When I found out what it meant, I was like, this is dumb. Who would call that? Who would call a restaurant that? But maybe it's meant to be like trendy. I don't know. Um, trendy, edgy. El Basurero. El ba yeah, there you go. Le Basurero. There you go. Would you guys go there? It's just weird. It's not even French food. It, it's just like a traditional burger joint with a French name. La Dumpster Fire. There you go. You said it's it's not actually very uh, pricey at all. It isn't. Well, see, I didn't even check the price. Well, I mean, it's like it, it, a pan roasted bread of chicken is about nineteen dollars. This was back in twenty twenty. Now I don't know if they changed their prices. It's not really like. I feel like you would probably spend more money at a Red Lobster than you would at this damn place. Mary's Organic Turkey Meatballs, $16. The Artichoke Hearts, uh, $10. So what, what's the, th is, none of this sounds French to me. 
I don't know, but see, I I don't know. They got some French names. That's what it is. Eighteen the the wine eighteen dollars for some of the 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 fancy wines thirty dollars. Damn, I mean the wine is expensive. I'll give you that. Maybe that's what's French. I don't know. And takeout roasted vegetables twelve dollars. Mac and cheese. I mean, that's probably the one thing I'd... Oh, and even that, I probably wouldn't order shit from there. But yeah, what part is French? I don't know. I don't know. You said you hate turkey meatballs? Well, they're French. They made them French. I don't know what the, what's so special about them. Um, it's cheap because they, their most expensive item is the roofie drink. That must be that $46 drink over there. French fries taste like they sell French fries. Oh Lord! They sell French fries. Ooh, it's French. There you go. There you go. Mm, I don't know. You said bobas. They don't sell bobas. Do they sell bobas? <laughs> oh, bobos. <laughs> All right. Let me stop. Let me stop. You said the wine is pre-spiked. Lord have mercy. Viper's like they can't cook frozen food right. Right. Like, is this like y'all be buying the frozen food from like Costco and then microwaving it and then charging me 20 bucks for a damn mac and cheese a la carte plate? I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. All right. All right. You said you could powder your nose there. Lord have mercy. And you talk about makeup powder. Okay. Don't don't be taking it over there. All right. Allegedly. Allegedly. The most popular drink is already pre-spiked, love. Don't even worry about it. Allegedly. Allegedly. Because I don't want, uh, what's her name's, uh, the child trafficker attorney coming after me and saying, you need to, you have a defamation letter. And I'm like, Lord have mercy for what? I'm just giving an opinion on a public platform. You know, people like to sue people. They don't even have croissants. Isn't that French? <laughs> Aren't croissants French? A baguette? That baguettes are French, right? What? Which one? Baguettes, croissants? I don't know. He said, since folks folks come out messed up, uh, maybe she has a special on the side. Oh Lord, a oh, wee? Oui? Yes. See, you know they got the Pepe Le Pew cake. I don't know something like that. All right, let me stop because I know nothing about French food. Or I, I mean, I'm just, I'm just so. I don't know. Burgers and fries. Okay. Uh, you said, I know if I go to a red French restaurant, I'm expecting a crepe. Oh, there you go. I do like crepes. Do they have cre I don't even think they have crepes on their menu. Let's see. Hold up. They said they got dessert, cheesecake, and chocolate cake. Girl, where is the crepes? That is French. No crepe, y'all. So if you ask them for a crepe, they're not going to have. Uh, uh, any, but I mean, the the wine is very French, but I don't see any crepes over here. I really don't. They have cake. You said crepes. <laughs> you said baguettes. I they don't have any baguettes. They don't have French toast. All right, y'all. Creme brulee. There you go. They can't make. I, I don't see any crepes. Y'all see crepes in the menu? Y'all are making me hungry. I know. I just, I have a salad waiting for me and it's got my name on it. So I got, <laughs> we got to move on. We got to move on. No, they don't have any macaroons. They got chocolate cake. I'm sure they, they did something special to make it French. I'm not really sure. All right. Let's keep going. Uh, listen to what Aaron's got to say about this. Suits. He went live yesterday on this. 8.30 a.m. Tuesday, March 19th. Mm. Room 723 Stanley Musk Courthouse. That's the ask, just so you don't have to watch a 15-minute <laughs> video to understand what are we doing. Wim's like, they don't have crepes, but they do have crabs. <laughs> crabs. <laughs> Lord, somebody eats there and gets the runs afterwards. Let me know about it. Doing here today. But for those of you who just want the information, I'll share it with you. So this restraining order hearing that mm. we're talking about is yet another strategy. Uh, from Scientology operative, uh, owner of La Poubelle, France. Can I just say the location is not very like, it's, it's, I don't know, like the aesthetics of it. I'm not really sure. Is it supposed to signify like old Hollywood or something since it's been running for so many years? I don't know. Trois Coster, La Poubelle is a restaurant on Franklin Avenue in Hollywood. 
located right across the street from Scientology Celebrity Center. There it is. Booyah. Celebrity yeah. Center, the place that helps Scientology celebrities cover up rapes. And then you have this restaurant, um, Francois Coster. She was one of Danny Masterson's best friends. Uh, the owner of this restaurant. Francois, from what I heard on the internet, might actually be Danny Masterson's daughter's uh, godmother. Ooh. Um, I know Francois dated Scientologist and actor Eric Balfour. Uh, I'm not entirely clear on whether she also dated Danny Masterson's best friend, Chris Wadhams, or not. Um, this is Francois Coster. Uh, she's got a big Scientology billboard on top of her uh, bar there. Mm. Uh, she also showed up in court every single day in Danny Masterson's friends and family section to support him. And for those of you who may not know, what is this restaurant? What does Francois have to do with anything? This restaurant is where Danny Masterson drugged Jane Doe 3. Uh, Francois Coster uh, knows all of uh, the all of the Jane Doe's that he was tried for. Francois is like this with the Scientology celebrity community. That's crazy. So um, Francois knows Jane Doe 1. She knows Jane Doe 3. I won't speak for the other Jane Doe's. But to know that this convicted serial rapist drugged one of his victims in your restaurant. Yep. And not only do you show up every day to support this guy in court, but you submit a character reference letter saying, yep. sure, he raped those women, but he's really nice to dogs. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Um, <clears throat> I cannot. When he said this, I said, Lord have mercy. Let me pause this right here. Aaron, he said, sure, he raped, but he's really nice to dogs. I just about threw the internet away, the phone away, the Wi-Fi box away. I just about threw it away. Just really close. Somebody had to stop me. Yeah, it's infuriating. The dogs are who we really care about. Mm -hmm. Francois wants you to know she's a dog person. Danny's nice to the dogs. Never raped a dog to the best of our knowledge. Oh. So go a little easy on the sentencing. He said <laughs> he's never raped a dog. Okay. Yeah. She's been very rude to the Jane Doe's themselves. And I bet Francois Coster wishes that Scientology would open up their test center back up again on Hollywood Boulevard. Because uh, mm -hmm. I'm sure she wishes that the protesters were busy at the test center. But Scientology shut down their test center. And that left La Poubelle as a fantastic place to protest. Wow. So this uh, strategy that Scientology has been using of using non-Scientologists to uh, file restraining orders against the protesters is a really fascinating one. See, they don't want their own people being dragged into court. There's this non-Scientologist that lives near Hollywood Boulevard, first name Joey. I don't know his last name, but um, uh, uh, he's a guy, this guy Joey. He always shows up to where the protesters are, tries to give him crap, and then has claimed that the protesters are harassing and stalking him. So yeah. Joey, who keeps showing up to where the protesters are, has requested a restraining order. I can't remember if he got the temporary restraining order and we're still waiting for the hearing on the permanent one. I don't remember. Requested a restraining order on some of the protesters. Francois Coster has now done the same thing. Okay, so which protesters exactly? Okay, so we've got here Scientology Audit, a.k.a. Streets LA, a.k.a. William Good. She's yes. trying to get a restraining order on him, but she failed to serve him properly. I'm going to tell you more about that in a minute. DOA, Defender of Ants, Scott Hochstetter. You can find him on YouTube at DOA. His handle is at iconoclastic gypsy yes <clears throat> excuse me thank you chico yeah be careful with the words that you guys use on the chat if you go say the word that word look it michelle did it perfectly put some grapes that's what you like i'm just telling you there's a lot of censoring that's happening right now so francois did correctly serve doa he's going to be actually present at the hearing tomorrow uh mm. streets is another matter for some reason francois people were not able to properly serve streets in time, I'm going to share some no, of this used, information with you. They used the and sandwich bag. And they used the sandwich bag, right? Right. He showed, he got, shared with me some info that instead I could share with you guys as well. Okay, so Street says, um, his Twitter handle, by the way, is Film the Police LA. La Pub uh, this was back in March 13th, so five days ago. He tweeted, La Poubelle was supposed to serve me with court paperwork for a hearing on their attempts to get a restraining order on me. They were supposed to serve me by Monday. They failed. I think they didn't serve me so that I won't show up at court. And they will lie and they will say that they served me. La Poubelle's owner, Francois Coster, tried to get a temporary restraining order against me. The judge denied her. Her only hope that I don't show up in court. She says that she served me. The judge issues the restraining order. And when I show up to protest, she has me arrested. Um, he continues on. Make no mistake. My lawyer will be on the call. My lawyer charges $650 an hour. She will file an anti-slap motion against uh, Francois for her restraining or TRO request. We will win the anti-slap and La Poubelle's owner will be responsible for paying my lawyer's fees, fifteen to $20,000. Wow. Keep playing these games with me. 
Okay, so a couple of days ago, I had texted William um, and I said, hey, do you want me to encourage people to go to the restraining order hearing on Tuesday? He goes, I'm not going to be at the hearing because she never served me. And then he said, she might lie and say that she did serve me. So my lawyer will be making an appearance for me, but people should go to the hearing to support DOA. Yeah. And then today, um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so uh, Francois. And Laura, L Laura FM, I think might have gone. You guys put that in the chat. Let me know. I know she was in here earlier. If she's still watching, um, she might be out there right now too. I haven't seen anything. I'm waiting for notifications, but let me know your thoughts. I'm pretty sure she said that she was going to go, but there's so many comments. I can't even go up anymore. Well, I was supposed to serve streets five days before the hearing and they ended up serving him yesterday, three days or, or three days before the hearing. I'm going to show you an updated tweet from yesterday from streets. He goes, <laughs> apparently Francois is using Glenn Maxwell's lawyer. Um, Glenn Maxwell's lawyer is totally incompetent. She served me last night, three days before the hearing, but was required to serve me five days before the hearing. That's crazy. This low rent lawyer served the papers in a damn Ziploc bag. <laughs> now on his Twitter profile, he, re he he's posting a ton of photos of different sections of uh, the filing. And he's got video clips of him reading different portions of it. She's trying to paint William as a gang leader. <laughs> all this crazy stuff, all, all these false statements in, in the filing. I mean, this is going to be, um, I, I wish I was in LA tomorrow so I could go to this hearing. Because even though William said he's not going to be at the hearing himself, wow. I feel like something super, super interesting is going to be happening here. Okay, so then William said... He said, for the hearing tomorrow, my lawyer will call in. The judge will make Francois refile and serve me properly, all while we prepare an anti-slap petition. And, um, and, and he adds, he believes that La Poubelle is in the process of going out of business. He said, they just opened a new LLC one month ago in someone else's name. I would not be surprised if they took on a whole bunch of merchant cash advances and are struggling with the debt. Mm -hmm. So who knows what's going to happen with that? Okay, let me see. I thought I had some other screenshots that I wanted to share on this, but maybe not because this is just trying to encourage people. Make sure everyone who wants to go has the opportunity to go, know when it's going to be, where it's going to be. Um, so I'll just reiterate one more time. Tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning, March 19th, 8.30 a.m., Stanley Moss Courthouse, 111 Ooh. North Hill Street, room 723. All right, everyone. This one, uh, no reason to make this longer than it has to be. Um, not doing very much today. Back to regularly scheduled programming tomorrow. Thank you all for hanging out with me. Thank you, as always, to everyone who watches until the very end. Shout out to Aaron. Thank you, Aaron, for allowing us to share in this as well as streets um, and making sure that we continue to talk about this whole situation. You said DOA. Yes, DOA was in Natalie's life after a cult, and he was kind of getting ready for the hearing. I mean, you know, he was a little nervous as I think anybody would be, you're going to a court hearing and whatnot, but I'm kind of curious to know kind of what was going to happen after that. What What's next? You said DOA did a video reading his restraining order. I have not covered that. Uh, I have not, well, because I haven't seen it. I have not covered that. Is that available now? I kind of, at this point, are they still at the hearing? But then again, you know, it is, um, they take a while with their hearings. Hold up. Let me see if I can look at his channel real quick. Um, 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 we just saw streets hearings, or excuse me, uh, documentation. He was reading it out. No, he hasn't been live since a day ago. At least that's what it says here. But I know that he was live with Natalie seven days ago. Oh, he read it seven days ago. Wow. Okay. He he went to the beach to read it. He he went to the beach to read. Why did he go to the beach? I mean, I guess. Oh, okay, I see it. Going live over this restraining order from Francois Kosher. He went to the beach to read it. It's on the beach. I got it. Yo, he really is at the beach. No joke. Hold up. I needed to move away from music. This is what family is all about. Lord. Relationship of parties. Hold up. Let's Civil go right here. Civil harassment restraining order, CH100. Francois Coster, 57. Wow. That's crazy. Protection is sought for me. But, <clears throat> you know, all the other protesters are told by LMA not to be around the house. When did they do that? Philanthropic ways, other 
over these many decades. Mr. Good. Oh, Lord have mercy. Let's get to it. Peaceful? Peaceful? Is that a proper spelling? Peaceful. Peaceful? They didn't even... Pe peaceable? Assaults have not been peaceful or peaceable? Assaults have... Well, I don't think an assault is peaceable. What the heck? Did she write this? Did the attorney write this? Is that how you spell it? Let me know. In the, I mean, I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm not an attorney, you know. Am I off here? Peaceable? Is that a word? Let me see. Let me. Let, I mean, it could be a word. Peaceable. It is a word. Yes, it is a word. I was like, I've never heard of that. It is peaceable. It's, uh, it's a word. It's an adjective, incline, uh, argumentative, not argumentative or hostile. Assaults have not been peaceable. Well, aren't assault, I guess I'm just, assaults aren't meant to be peaceable. It's a word. It is a word. I was like, huh? I've never seen, he, that's why he probably looked at it like, I've never seen it either. Peaceful. It's not used that way. That's why it seems off, right? Okay. If, I think she means that the assaults, uh, that I think she means the protests have been violent. Yeah, it's just, she could just say the protests have been uh, violent, you know, but I don't know. Amy says it's not used that way. Yeah, she meant protests have not been peaceable. She said assaults. Hold up. The way she used it. Yeah, I think she just used it kind of weirdly, but I don't know. And you guys will get a fucking chuckle. <laughs> this is content. Amicable. Most of me, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna reread number seven. Okay. <laughs> I, I feel. I feel love that I got this restraint or like. I'm just gonna listen to seven, yo, because I'm having a hard time with the sound of the waves. I mean, it's beautiful. Who would have thought to read this at the beach? It's cute, but still. Yeah, I know. I'm a, I'm a follower of good. But yeah, it shows that it says we're COVID fighters. We good. We're running it. <laughs> All right, number seven again. The demonstrations and assaults have not been peaceable. The agitators have swatted the restaurant, calling in reports of shots fired, fire, auto accidents between car and pedestrian. The LAPD press release is attached here and as Exhibit A. Seven of the nine assaults recorded by the LAPD have been against females. Most of the agitator mob consists of males. It's like a group of monkeys. Can they pull up a, dis uh, a dispatch report and see, like, who's been calling the police? Who's been really the ones that have been calling the police? And how often? He's just running around. I mean, if they're being assaulted, I would call the police. Here, I guess. Male monkeys. What, what's interesting is what seven assaults, seven or nine assaults, were on women. Like, wait, wait, wait. So, and, and so this is a situation. Not, I have to make a decision if I'm going to spend the money on the lawyer for the, because this is like next week here. Um, if I'm going to spend a, a money on a lawyer or if I just go into court and do this, um, the, uh, I'm going to do this. Uh, right. Uh, mm. the seven yeah i'm just having a hard time with the sound but shout out to him i mean we're waiting to hear back i know what i my understanding is that streets is not going to show up to the hearing and a lot of folks are waiting to hear back about what happened at the hearing with doa i'm kind of curious to know what happened as well whether this uh restraining order is going to stand or are they going to have another hearing or that what what exactly are they going to present and also they're also making the lapd as like like party to this and i don't know if they can do that uh tim says uh rabbit i heard rumors about someone on youtube taking credit blame for swatting calls you heard it no <gasps> really no i've never heard of that i have not heard of that like a like a creator wow you said i wish he had a lawyer i mean yeah, I wish he had a lawyer, too, if he doesn't have one. I mean, he might have to fundraise for that. I'm not really sure. Wait, Julie B., it isn't a rumor. What, what do you mean? I guess I'm confused. What, who's saying this? <clears throat> you said, I heard, a, I heard rumors about someone on YouTube taking credit slash blame for squat calls. You hear anything? Really? Uh, yeah. Um, a creator from Oregon? Well, what do they say? I'm I'm wondering. Another creator said it? 
Well, y'all, uh, I've never heard. I mean, if you guys don't want to put names, which is fine. Probably better that we don't put names in the chat. But if you want to email me the person and the links, let me know. Um, email it here and let me know what's going on. Okay. Email me that information. I'll look it up. Uh, Hollywood Aja has the video on TikTok. What? You said nerd report? Hold up. But you said Hollywood Aja. Hollywood. Let me look at this before I head out. Um, Because I follow Hollywood Aja. Um, Does Hollywood Aja. I I don't know if everybody knows. But I guess Hollywood Aja has two accounts. I have only been following one. She's got two TikTok accounts. Old man kicked me on my left ankle. When he stepped on the sidewalk. Oh my god. Who is this? Whoa, hold up. Hold up, Linda. Linda, let me tell uh, Linda, before y'all go, what is this? This is from, and see, I don't follow this account. She's got two accounts. Portland Andy on YouTube admitting. Don't you understand this? Don't you understand? I run this shit from my bunker, bro. Who is this? You think those fucking, you think those, uh, what are they called? Those fire trucks just come from nowhere? Is that what you think? Do you think those pizzas just show up out of nowhere? Who is this? No. No. They don't. Jesus. Daniel Vargas Super Let me work. $2. You sit down and shut $2 up. $2 from Daniel Vargas. This country is... Why is he doing that? Who is he? Why is he doing that? What is he doing? You don't believe him? Or is he just wanting clout? You know, because people can say that. People can say that they're doing something and they're not actually doing it. And why the hell, why would he know when to call if he's, I don't know, I'm assuming he's actually in Portland? He, um, he, what he says, please report. Let's get the word out. Um, admitting what he says. Oh, Lord. Trying to block him. Like, um. People will do that to kind of, yeah, it's like a clout chase. Yeah. Yeah. How, yeah, yeah, yeah. He streams their live streams. Well, I mean, he can, yo, these live streamers, let me tell you, if he's streaming, you're streaming. You don't want him to stream it. Y'all can do what you got to do and, and, and report it, file copyright strikes, do what you got to do. Because he, I mean, again, if that's what, if he's using it for this purpose, how do we know he's not a Scientology op? Or what, what? What is it called? The, uh, yeah, like he is doing it, but is he's admitting to calling, but he's not there. So when does he know when to call? How do we know this? Can we get more confirmation? Do we have dispatch reports? Oh, okay. I yeah, I wouldn't. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah, is he like an OSA guy, or is he just wanting clout? Oh, that's what it is. So he's from a different community, and he's wanting clout. Lord of Yo, for those that are new to YouTube, that shit happens all the time. He watches the streams. He wants to jump in and he wants to take, yeah. Right, listen to the calls, Rabbit. Well, do me a favor. Y'all send me those links and I will listen to them and we could talk about it. Uh, but I mean, that's an easy, it's a clout chase, you guys. Yeah, how did he know that? Like, does he know about fire engines being called? I'm kind of wondering. Like, how does that happen? So he's just, he's watching. He's like, I'm taking credit for this. Really? Really? I want dispatch reports. That's what I want. I want dispatch reports. You said, Jody, who says it's a clout chaser? It's a clout. It's clout, y'all. If y'all, let me tell you, do yourselves a favor and don't watch that shit. That's how you, you just don't watch the shit. That's it. He's trying to take credit for pizzas. It's clout. I don't know. I mean, they're so is he sending pizzas while they're protesting? How do they know who to give them to? You send it to me, Chili B, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. I just wouldn't give this guy any clout whatsoever. It's a distraction. People do that for clout. That's what they do. I'm not giving this man any clout. All right, y'all. It's kind of a very loser move to do. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I will see you guys on the next one. Shoot me an email about whatever streams you want me to watch as it pertains to this. 
you know, hoping for the best for streets and DOA, of course, but hopefully, um, hopefully we'll get some news. Hopefully we'll get some news. All right, guys, you guys have a great one. Make sure you're hitting the like button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Rabbits out. <laughs>